PCWI, the instruments and support you need for your industry. Porosity Holiday Detectors, high voltage testing of internal pipeline coatings. Internal pipe diameters do vary, dependent on the pipe's wall thickness. Internal coating thickness may also play a part in the overall internal diameter. Brush design does not allow for a lot of give in the brush diameters. Variations in the internal diameter can play a large part, so knowing the exact internal diameter is important to the size and the design. PCWI manufactures porosity holiday detectors and a vast range of brushware to suit all testing applications. High voltage detectors, pulsed DC and DC, direct current constant voltage. Cone cup brushes, these are used mainly on small bore tubes up to 100 millimeters. Disc brushes, these are used on medium sized pipe up to 300 millimeters. Open disc brushes are used on larger bore tubes. Extremely large pipes use open brushes for the larger diameter pipe. These can be manufactured as split full circle brushes or we can manufacture internal half brushes. Spiral wound steel pipe. To test the coatings both internal and external, this must be done with brass wire brushes. Coils and carbonized rubber neoprene probes will not work. Note the air gaps. Coils and carbonized strip probes should not be used. Brass wire probes fall into the gaps and voids, so eliminating areas that would otherwise be skipped over and not get tested. The test capabilities of brass wire is far greater than that of coils and carbonized strips, as those probes need more voltage to find the same flaws. They also need more volts to bridge the air gap that's created as they ride over the high spots. Brass wire falls into and around the welds much better than, than any other probe. Before you start the test, make sure you have the detector and pipes earthing correct. Also test the detector's voltage output at the brush with a crest meter. Earthing is critical, so make sure that not only the detector is earthed, but also the pipe substrate earth to ground. Large diameter pipe ovality. This does happen. Long straight runs and bends. Pipes can vary in ovality. Brushware needs to be capable of varying with it. High voltage leads. Carbon cord resistance leads. 7.5 millimeters to 8.5 millimeters in diameter up to 35 kV. Mainly for DC porosity detectors. Copper cord is used with pulse DC detectors. You can get a much reduced in size 5 millimeter lead that can go up to 8 kV. High voltage extension leads need to be copper cord. These need to be attached to the DC and pulse probe handles. With DC units copper cord leads cannot be attached directly to the unit doing away with the probe handle. DC units need some resistance in the lead or damage to the unit will occur. To do away with the probe handle a special lead would need to be manufactured so please contact us. High voltage lead connectors as you can see here the handle end which is plastic and the brush end which is aluminium. This is a high voltage copper cord extension lead. Generally for a six meter pipe you would need eight and a half meters. Brushware travel. Push through with a rod, pull through with a rope with the high voltage lead trailing, pull through with the high voltage lead dependent on the brush's drag as you may pull out the lead from its connecting plug. The pull through on the rope with the disc brushes generally is pulled through from three points. This will keep the brush perpendicular to the pipe. Note, the disc will need extra support should you be pulling it through with the high voltage lead. Line. The extra disc 400 millimeters in front of the brush gives the extra support to keep the brush upright. Cone brushes are a new style and these can be either pushed through or pulled through with a rope or pulled through with a high voltage lead. They're designed so as not to do damage to the thinner coatings in smaller tubes and also easily lined up to pull through but they are non-returnable as with most brushes. 
use even the discs. You can also use a flat brush in a rotating pipe. The draw out speed needs to be calculated. Pipe diameter and rotation speed must be calculated not to exceed 1 meter in 4 seconds. Cone cup brushes can only travel in one direction with no reverse available. Disc brushes, a 150 millimeter disc brush is approximately 165 millimeters in diameter. This flares the bristles out, so pulling it back is very difficult. A quarter turn while pulling may also allow it to reverse, although don't rely on it. Once it's pushed in, push it all the way or pull it all the way through. So how do you get a line through a pipe? Well, you can throw throw a golf ball through with a pull through rope attached or you can use a garbage type bag or a shopping bag uh, with a line attached to it and blow it through with the air. Be careful of disc brushes in pipe internals. The weight of the push rod may cause the brush to sag, crush, causing gaps at the top. These areas would not be getting test voltages. So maybe you need a brush with support wheels to hold it central in the pipe. With all the environmental issues to contend with today, no one needs premature coating failure. Corroded or pitted steel that can be environmentally difficult and costly to repair. Leaking or ruptured tanks and pipelines can leave everlasting environmental disasters. It's a difficult world we live in today. Maybe it's time to do a rethink on the level of testing that needs, that's needed for the future. Porosity Holiday Detector probes, flat brushes, rolling pipe brushes, internal and external pipe brush wear, special requirements made to order. Coils, high voltage leads, earth leads, probe extensions, adapters to suit all brands. Contact sales at pcwi.com.au.